all aluminum construction, cedar lined interior, tons of hidden storage, full kitchen and a fireplace. Folks, this is the 2021 Yeti Ice House A816 PRK. I think I could make this work. <laughs> Folks, this is the Yeti Ice House. Uh, if you're not familiar with ice houses, they are beautiful, they are wonderful. Um, and if you're into ice fishing, this th there's no better way to do it than this right here. The cool thing about ice houses and Yeti in general, um, you don't necessarily just have to use them for ice fishing. While yes, that is the main purpose for their capability, you can still use this as an everyday camper. Uh, if you want to go out for a weekend, you can do it. They have different levels in the Yeti line. This one is the Angler. So this is kind of um, their base model. It, it won't have a bathroom. If you want a bathroom, you're going to move up to the Grand Escape. But the Angler is perfect if you're, again, just looking for kind of that um, high-end level of ice house. So you'll see right here, I am on a sofa, very comfortable. I have plenty of spots where I can drill holes. Uh, so we can do some ice fishing here. You can see that all over. There's six different locations. Uh, so you can have plenty of people in here. And you can see that there as well. So two sofas. And you can very comfortably sit five people in here hanging out. This actually is a trifold sofa too. And I I'm telling you, this is very comfortable. Uh, as far as furniture goes, I've sat on a lot of RV furniture. And this is extremely comfortable. But this does fold out, as I said, as a trifold. And this becomes a bed. So you have a place to sleep. One of the things I really like about Yeti that they do is they use their space very well. And so we talk about storage. Right over here is a little end table. You'll have this on both sides, but look at that. They put a hinge in there. And so all of this is very accessible storage. And you'll have that, again, as I mentioned, on both sides. You have electrical outlet on both sides, USB port, and you'll also see they put lights on them. So if it's night, you need to flip that on to plug something in. It's nice and simple to do. Beautiful woodwork on the walls. You can see that. Uh, you know, again, high quality stuff in here. You have the bed that drops down. So you have the upper bunk. I love this. They actually put a light in the bottom of the bunk. I don't know why more manufacturers don't do this. It's, it's just smart in my, uh, in my mind. A window in the back. So if you want to open a window up, you know, get some airflow. You have windows on the side. And I mean, you can see, folks, these are like residential style windows, right? These aren't your standard RV windows. Um, you know, they have locks and everything on there. You can slide them open, really get that airflow. And once again, you have uh, hookups up there for electric for anyone up top. And then there's also one over here. And as I mentioned, this also opens up. And so once again, large extra storage. And it doesn't stop there. You'd see this right here. You have the big countertop. Take a look at this. This, boom, just like that, opens right up. And then you can see the additional storage there. And it's slow close on the, uh, on the, the glide action. So really high-end components. We'll open it up, see more storage over there. Um, you'll see lights down below, so you can light up your holes. Gotta love that. Good countertop space all along here. You, again, more outlets, more windows, storage up top with LED lights. This is really cool. You know, they lit the head up. I'm normally not a fan of blue lights in RVs, but I do like it here. You know, when you're accenting something like that, I think it's pretty great. And of course, it is uh, just very functional storage. And then Microwave right down below your hood. You'll see the three burner recessed cooktop. This of course folds up and back just like that. Kind of doubles as your backsplash. Front one is high output. The knobs light up and you have an oven underneath if you want to do some baking. Open this guy up. Again, great storage there. Underneath you have more. I mean, you know, you want to talk about, like I say, good use of space. There's just a ton of storage all throughout here. Moving up into this sofa. We'll take a seat. So this one is a jackknife style sofa. Uh, you'll see there's a spot for a table at both of them. So pedestal table. So you'll have different places you can eat. Right here on the wall are your, uh, your thermostat as well as your fan control there. So this one does have a furnace so you can get nice and toasty. Another electrical outlet, more storage across the top. You can see the ceiling fan. Take a look at that. How cool is that, right? Again, you know, I talk about being a residential kind of build and that is what they have done here. Huge space for a TV. I absolutely love the uh, size of TV you can have. And something that is uniquely awesome is this right here. If you take a look, they've already pre-wired everything. So you can take an HDMI. And if you want to uh, you know, view your, your camera, 
that you're putting in, in the water, you can do that. You can put the HDMI in there, put it on the big screen on the TV, and they have a bunch of different inputs for different things. Uh, very, very cool system. Multimedia center up top, that way you can listen to music, storage there. Take a look at that, you get a fireplace. Now, my, you know, bear in mind that this is electric, and so you will need either shore power or more than likely a generator you'll have hooked up in order to run that, but I love the fact it is there. And then, in case you didn't hear me say this unit has storage, take a look at that. Bounce on in there, that is a massive, massive closet. So you have space for all your gear. So you can, you know, all of your, um, you know, your, uh, your bibs, your jackets, you know, some of the, 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 the float wear, you know, that you can wear. So you're floating in the ice in case you fall in. If you have that, you can put it in there because, you know, while the idea is to fish right in here, if you want to go out somewhere, by all means, you can do that too. You know, you have a space to take all your gear with you. And then as we come outside, it doesn't stop out here. Excellent construction. As I said, all aluminum. In fact, come take a look at the tongue. You'll see even the tongue is aluminum. There are very, very few manufacturers that put this kind of quality and work uh, into it. The, the whole frame, everything in here is aluminum. So you never have to worry about rust. You can see a little uh, cable right there. You have some marker light speakers outside. Not only do you have the LED light right here by the door, but then you have the entire strip there as well. And then you get into the, the, the wheel system. So if you notice, this one is gear driven. Now, what, it, what they do with the ice house is it drops down. And then you can take snow and you can pack all around it. That way you don't get wind coming in underneath it. So that way, you know, again, it helps insulate. And then you're right there on top of the ice. But you have a hand crank on this one. You can get power options on the Yetis too. Uh, but that will lift it up. And so then you have something like, uh, Sam, if you turn around and show them right behind you. So you can do something like this. So then it just tows like a normal travel trailer right down the road. Get to your destination, drop it down. You're good to go. You can see the uh, marker lights on the back. And then the window here too, plus more LED lights. Folks, this is an absolutely fantastic ice house. If you're looking to get into one, you're interested, uh, all you have to do is click the link in the description. That will give you nearest availability as well as the price. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2021 Yeti A816 PRK. If you're interested in this ice house and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker. Let's go catch some fish.